Hello everyone! In today's video, we are going to learn how to change supplier profile. The information is provided by Huraman Muradova. The supplier receives a notification from the registered email address, with which is logged into the Oracle application. The notification will contain a link. By entering this link, the supplier has to create a new password. When creating a password, you have to use letters, numbers and symbols. On this page, click on the Supplier Portal button and select the section shown on the screen. To view or edit the data, click the link Manage Profile. Click on each tab to see different info on your supplier profile. To open the profile for editing, click the Edit button and then Yes. The Organizational Details Work Area displays the following information. In the General section, add relevant documents in the attachments. In the Identification section, enter the information such as the Data Universal Numbering System number, Customer number, Standard Industry Code, National Insurance number, and Corporate website. In the Corporate Profile section, enter the name and surname of the Chief Executive Officer and the Founder of your company. Corporate profile consists also information such as the year established, mission statement, etc. Navigate to the financial profile section and choose the preferred functional currency drop down arrow and choose a currency. and press Save button. The next step is the Tax Identifier section. First of all, select the Taxpayer Country, then enter the Taxpayer ID, Tax Registration Number, and check the tax registration type. Then press the Save button. The next step is the Addresses section. To enter the company address, click Create from the Action button. Enter the info for all fields marked with asterisk. Enter the language, phone and fax number and other email addresses of your company. Check the box RFQ or bidding. Once you complete the required info, click OK, then press the Save button. Then choose Contact section. You can see some contact information in this area, which was added by procurement employee. To make any changes, click on Create button. The Payment section includes information about the bank account. By selecting the Create button, you can fill this page as shown on the screen and then press the Save button. Then choose the Business Classification section and click on the None of Classifications are Applicable button. Then, select the Products and Services section. In this section, the selection of the category is made by the procurement employee. And select the Save button to save the information. And confirm the announcement 
by pressing the Confirm button. To review the data entered at all registration steps, click on Review Changes. To finish the registration, click the Submit button. A confirmation message will pop up on your screen, confirming that the registration was submitted. This learning guide provides the details how to respond to a questionnaire within the Oracle Supplier portal. Click on the subtask Manage Questionnaires. On the left side of the screen, you will see the questionnaire number and questionnaire title. On the right side of the screen, you will see the status of the questionnaire and the response due date. You also have the option to view the questionnaire in PDF format by clicking on the PDF icon. To access and respond to a questionnaire, you may either click the blue hyperlink on the questionnaire title or click on the Respond button below the Search Results menu. The questionnaire will display any of questions marked with a blue asterisk are mandatory questions. Some of the questions may have a comment section for the entry of additional information as needed. When responding to a question, in some cases a response attachments option will appear. To include an attachment to your response, click the plus icon. A response attachments window will pop up. Click on the actions drop down arrow and choose add from the list of options. Options to attach a file, text or URL will become available in the type column of the window. Select a type. For this example, we will use the file type. Click on the Browse button. Select the file you wish to attach. After attaching the file, the title section will auto-populate with the name of the file. You can enter a description in the description box. When you have finished responding to the questionnaire, click on the Submit button. A confirmation window appears. Click OK when click Done at the top of the screen. Thanks for watching the video training and have a nice day!